keep smiling. Hello, hello, hello. Hi, everyone. We, I believe, are live in the Creative Innovations in Painting Facebook group. Yay! Started by Debbie Cole. Yay! Yay! But here it says, it says, Sydney's. Hi, everyone. Sydney's going to be painting today. Yay! So we are here to welcome you to our second paint along. That's exciting. Isn't it exciting? Aren't you excited? I am so excited. It's wonderful. <laughs> and you even have the colors on of tonight's, tonight's palette. <laughs> what are you looking at, Debbie? Are we showing up? Are we there? Let's see. There we are. Yep, we are here. Okay, hi Lana and hi Cheryl. Thank you for coming. Hi everyone. We're doing great. How y'all doing? We're going to wait a few minutes for a few more people to show up. Thank you for buying the pattern packets and uh when a few more people show up, then we'll get started painting. But in the meantime, hey, Debbie. You yes, ma'am. You got something coming up next month, right? Are you going to do our paint along next month? I do. I'm so excited to share this. <laughs> share it with us while we're waiting for some more ladies to come in. And then you can show it to us again next month. Uh, next. OK, you so this, this is going to be my live class. And then on the back side, Ooh. it's going to be a watch party. So I'm going to have two classes. Beautiful. That looks so, so detailed. The backside is very stunning. I like the cute spider, but the backside is really I love my pipe, the spider. Did you name her? Her name's Miss Bitsy, because she's itsy bitsy. She's itsy bitsy. <laughs> she's adorable. <laughs> she's adorable. So I can't wait for that one. Did we have a date on that one? Um, I think we I did. I don't remember what the dates are. This... Let me go find out. Okay. Well, we have a few minutes while a few more people show up. Thank um, you, Lana. I'm glad you like it. Hot, hot, hot. Thank you, Cheryl. September. So we have a watch party for the 19th of September, Thursday the 19th. And we have, we did not put down. Hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to flip it. I think we're going to do a live class on the 17th, Tuesday the 17th. Yep, that sounds like a good thing because I guess I didn't put that down there. Mm -hmm. hmm. And then this will be, then the other one, the watch party will be on the last Thursday, whatever those dates are. Hi, Donna Miller. How are you? Good to see you. So you want it on the 22nd? Mm -hmm. It has to be on the 19th. Okay. <laughs> we will let you all know when the dates are going to be. Oh, it's the 17th and the 19th. And then uh, Christy Hartman's doing our other watch party um, earlier that month because she is going to be giving us some, um, also doing Meet the Artists and such. And she is doing a watch party on the, where's September, right? Duh, on the 5th of September. So we have a month coming up that's going to be awesome. Two, not just one, but two Debbie Coles. One a watch party and one a paint along. And the other one is going to be Christy Hartman. Hello, Donna. Okay, so. Since we are um, about five minutes in, so I'm just going to get started. So I'm hoping that you're painting along with me. And if, uh, if you have your canvas tote bag out, I'm going to switch my camera around so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to spotlight me. And then Debbie's going to keep me company because I don't do well talking to a black box. <laughs> OK. Were you going to say something? Uh, 
Okay, so here is my project. And I called it relax because that's what we like to do on the beach is just sit there and relax. I've already, I haven't washed it because I don't plan on, you know, wearing it. So I didn't wash any of the sizing out of it. But I did iron on that freezer wrap paper that I talked about in that prep video on the inside. So it's against the, the fabric. Traced on my outline with my Identa pen. And you could also use a Sanford marker, Sharpie marker. And only put a, an application of fabric medium inside my elements. So that's what I did there. And now I'm just going to start painting it. So I'm going to start with the back element and work my way forward. And on the back element, I'm going to use one drop of slate gray to, oops, sorry. Get rid of that. Um, to one drop of, or four drops, I should say, four drops of, um, white. So wh when we say drops, you just squeeze a little bit and you make one, two, three, four, same pressure. And then we do the same with the slate gray. Now I'm going to take my palette knife, which is somewhere. But you just love it when you misplace your your things and mix those together. So you want to be a little generous because we need to cover all of the sand dollar. You don't want to have to remix. Although if you do the same pressure, you should get close enough to the same value. So I know this is my color, so I'm just going to drag that on there so I'm not wasting any paint. I like using a nylon brush because it doesn't wear out as much as you'll wear out your sable brushes on this fabric. This fabric is quite coarse. Or, I mean, it's linen, but still. So I'm just going to move this paint around and do the whole thing. Don't worry about having perfect edges around your, your starfish because your starfish is not a smooth surface. If you've ever picked up one or seen one, they are quite bumpy. Make sure you get most of the water out of your brush. And remember, these are open holes. So you don't want to paint them out. You want to keep them free of paint so that the linen shows through. You can do this on natural linen. You can do it on a white linen bag. You could even do it on a colored bag if you want. If you did it on a blue bag, I expect you would want to um, paint this hem the earth tones, not the blue. Although there are pictures of other colored um, sand uh, starfish. I'm going to go around those black lines, those markings that a sand dollar has. I'm going to go around them. I try to stay within so I don't have to re-ink. If I go over, it's not the end of the world. But if I can help it, I'll stay within. So Debbie, how are we doing? Pretty good. Looking good, Cindy. Looking good. Mm -hmm. I really like how smooth and even the coverage is. Do you only have to apply that once? Yep. Yep. That's, I'm being relatively generous with the application, but yet I still have a big puddle, so that's good. The nylon brush, I think, really helps because it has a, a little bit more firm than the Sin Sable or Sable. Mm -hmm. And I think that's what helps me to get a 
a good coverage. And I, again, I, I covered this with an, one application of fabric medium. So it's not absorbing the paint. The paint gets to sit on top and adhere to the medium. Again, if I was gonna be putting this on a piece of, of, a pol of a apparel that I was wearing, I wouldn't do it this way because this can get quite stiff. And I would, I would go convert it to that So Soft, DecoArt So Soft fabric paint, then it would be more pliable. Okay. But since this is just a tote bag, beach bag, if you will, you have beaches in Reno, right? You got Lake Tahoe? Well, that's actually Tahoe, but yeah, that's only about a half an hour from where I live. And so, yes, we have lots of wonderful beaches. I, my favorite's San Harbor, because that's actually in Nevada. Oh. And only about a half hour from my house. Cool. I've never been there. Well, on my bucket list, maybe next year. Do they have seashells though? Because it's not a sea? No, I don't think we have seashells at Tahoe. Well, like a lake? It's a lake. Yeah. But it's still nice and relaxing, I'm sure. I think you showed me pictures once. Nice and relaxing. So has any more people showed up? Linda is here. Hi, Linda, welcome. Hi, Linda, welcome. You can also remind me if I ever get off camera. I hope I don't. Now I'm watching you. I'm trying to be. No. And Ellen is here too, and Carol. Sweet. All we're doing is base coating the sand dollar right now with a palette knife mix, four parts titanium white to one part slate gray. Now you might say, as I say to Debbie sometimes, we have how many bottles of paint do we have, right? Why can't we just use one of the pre-mix bottles? Well, you can. <laughs> Find yourself a medium gray, but I'm trying to teach myself that I can do what I want need to do with fewer bottles in my in my life. Right, Debbie. Louisanne Ward is here. Hello. I'm just base coating, staying away from those those holes in the sand dollar and going around this design right now. I'll fill it in in a second. So you want, you want to make sure this has been covered with your fabric medium, all the elements, and then this gray mix is either your dove gray or you're going to mix four, four parts of titanium white with one part of slate gray. Now I'm going to go fill in these by chiseling up between my black lines. So I don't want to lose my black lines. I want to keep them as much as I can. So I'm going to chisel around and in between. Each one. So this is our second, our second paint along. I hope that everyone is enjoying it and that they will comment and comment where you're from in the, let us know where you're watching from. Creative Innovations has so many members from, and thank you all for recommending or suggesting to your friends to join us. Um, We've grown so, so much this past year, haven't we, Debbie? Yes. And uh, we want to keep, we want to keep that. We'd like to keep the membership and grow it more and keep all these neat programs coming to you with the 
paint alongs, the watch parties, the meet the artists. So if you have, uh, if you're enjoying it, let us know. Next month is going to be Debbie's turn to do a paint along and she has a bonus of a watch party also so that's going to be exciting and at the end of when we're done this she's going to reveal it to us again a few people who were here early saw it but she's going to show it to us again so how does that look that looks pretty good okay Directions said two parts white. Oh, well, I did four this time. <laughs> it's okay. You can do, you can do two. It's like two, three, or four, depending on how light you want this. My shade is going to be this. So I don't want the value so close that the, that the straight paint won't, won't show up. Okay, from Kansas, love, oh, steamy Kansas, uh-huh, New York. I love New York. So typically I'd wanna blow dry that, but in the meantime, while that's drying, what we can do is go over and take our tropical blue and we're gonna mix that with white. So tell me, Gail, is that two to one or four to one on that? It was Ellen that corrected you. Oh, sorry, Ellen. That's right. Sorry, Ellen. Either one, anybody, because they both ordered the pattern. So they can both tell me. I didn't print I it. love the tropical blue. It's such a pretty color. Isn't it? That's why I said you're wearing blue tonight. So <laughs> I'm like, you match the decor. Thank you. So with my palette knife, I'm going to mix two to one. Ellen says it's two to one, so you're doing it correctly, Cindy. Yay! Ellen, we're so glad that you're keeping Cindy on track. Thank you. I know, because I didn't send the directions to Debbie, so she can't do it. <laughs> but it does, with the white, it makes a beautiful color. And Gail also told you that it was going to be two to Thank one. Thank you. That's a very pretty color, and it's different than any of the other bottle colors. Yes. Yes. Because it's more green. Yeah. I like it very much. I was very pleased when I made that color. Amazingly enough. And You're I cleaning your palette knife on your surface. I've never seen anyone do that. That saves paint. Well, that's why I do it, because I'm like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna waste all that paint. That's still good paint. So if you want to thin it out so you see your lines underneath it, you just keep working it or you add a little bit of your fabric medium to smooth it out so that you'll see those black markings underneath there eventually. But it's okay if I don't. Now remember- Okay, uh, um, I have a question. Why did you have everybody put the medium down on the icons before you started painting? To me, it's like a sealer and it gives okay. it, it gives it a nice coverage so your paint can adhere to it on top but not be soaked into it like a stain. So, and that's why you're getting such good coverage. Yeah, that I treated it just like I would wood. Okay, great. And I like correctability. I did not go beyond the design, however. So if you get paint beyond the design, it becomes like stain. It'll grab a hold of the paint and that, you know, you have to fix it with a, a happy accident would make it up into something else, but. Um, so since I'm a messy painter, I would have to coat the entire tote bag before I begin painting. Well, you wanna either that, yeah, because even if you if you didn't coat the, the bag, you would have to mix every puddle of paint with fabric medium. So this helps me not to have to say, oh, did, did I put fabric medium in that puddle of paint or not? I don't have to remember that I did or didn't. 
this it's already on here. And the other thing too is for, I was saying in, uh, if you are a messy painter and going from here to here, you might dribble, 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 bring your palette over top or get a piece of um, paper and cut out your design like a mask and mask off that area, tape off that area so you don't dribble on it. But try not to pick up so much paint that you dribble that you don't really need a lot. It goes, it goes quite a ways here. It's not, I don't need a lot to go a long way. So we have two people from Missouri. Diana and Carol are both from Missouri. Missouri. I went through that state twice. I saw the big arch. St. Louis. Nancy's here. Hi, Nancy. Hey, Nancy. How's your shoulder? If that's the right Nancy. And Lori is here too. Hello. So thank you for joining us. And I have Debbie here to keep me company. So I'm not talking to myself because sometimes I feel kind of weird talking to myself. That's why I like the, the open classrooms on Artful Webinars and stuff because I can see and hear you and talk to you and see how you're doing. So Lynn is from Illinois and Yvette is from British Columbia. Oh, sweet. So she's our farthest away. So far. So Luann, where are you from from Illinois? I'm also from Illinois. I like Chicago. That's where I was born and raised. I visited Chicago many times. I was, Hi, Gail. I was uh, always intrigued by the, the, what do you call it? The untouchables, the Al Capone days, the prohibition days. I went on that tour many times. So I'm just doing two to one, we say Tropical Bay and white two to one, covering my sand dollar. And I already did the, I did four to one on the, the sand, on the sand dollar, but this is my starfish. I keep mixing that up, but two to one on that is fine. Or dove gray, that's fine too. Don't be smooth on your starfish. It is not a, this is not a smooth. So we have two lands here and the other one's from, oh, I'm not gonna get Puyol up, Washington. Pi, oh, Puyol, Puyol. I don't know how to pronounce that, but thank you, yes. And we have multiple carols here too. Oh, geez, that must have been popular name one year, huh? And you're getting love, lots of love. Oh, thank you so much. Love back. I want to see when you're done painting this project, please post it. So, and tag me in it so we can see it. I forget, it's like I want to, I, I was so happy how this came out. I wanted to paint several more and then send him off. My brother lives in Florida. I thought I'll send it down to him and he can go, he can go pedal him, put him in a store. What I really like is it's a really fun tote bag that you can take to the beach too. Oh yeah. Groceries, beach. People, you know, people who knit or even the colored pencil artists, even. Gail says she loves this piece. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gail. Thank you so much. Um, you can put an iPad, you know, your, your iPad laptop. You can do so much with this carried around for so many reasons. You don't have to just bring it to the beach, but you can. Okay. Now that I believe our sand dollar is dry. If, if everyone has a, um, a number eight dome round or what what do the other brands call their uh dry brushes there 
Well, if you have the all Debbie Cole dry brushing set from years ago that had the white bristles in it, that's the same type of a brush, but you have a hog hair brush there of yeah. which you've worn the top off. So you're just yeah. looking for a dome shaped white bristle brush. <laughs> I want something short here. The stencil brush is to me. Elaine is here. The stencil brush is too long. So um, it makes it more flimsy. I want more control. So with that, I'm going to take and go back to my straight slate gray. So so Gail just mentioned something very interesting, Cindy. In New York, they are banning plastic bags. And I know in California, they're starting to do the same thing. So having tote bags are great. Yes, yes. That, that I try to remember to bring mine to the grocery store every time I go, but I don't always remember. I'm going to do some shading. It's again, it's very loose interpretation because I'm not going to physically put it where you would think your shading would be. I'm gonna kind of smush it around. So I moved the paint into my brush, twirling it around on my palette and then wiping it out on a dry paper towel. And when I come over here, I'm going to scrub and I need to put my hand down. Let's see. I'm trying to look at my pictures. So I'm going to scrub and and make that And it's going to look ugly. There's nothing I can do about it. That's pretty much what happens here. So get a little color, wipe some of it off, and then come and scrub it on. I do circular motions, so I'm not, I'm trying not to create a straight line, but have it jagged. If you want to add a little bit up there, I'm going to. And again, you're using which color, Cindy? Straight slate gray. Okay. The sand dollar is not as smooth in it. You know how it's kind of dome. Mm -hmm. So we're not realistic, but we're just trying to add some motion and uh, depth to our painting. Cheryl's saying it's looking really dark. And I can say that what happens is when you're on camera, it intensifies the lights and the darks. So Cindy, um, it, do you think yours is laying down when you're seeing it with the naked eye? Well, what happened was, is I did four to one, four white to one slate. So the value change on this particular one is gonna be a more drastic value change. If you look on this one, it's not. Okay. See the difference? Yes. So this one was a darker gray to start off with, but we're going to smooth it out in a minute. And it's going to- So you know a way to correct that. Yep, yeah, it's going to all work out. It will. Hang in there, Cheryl. She's going to make it look great. As she always does. <laughs> As I had a good teacher. Taught me how. So right now I'm just softening some of the areas. And let's go around here. Cheryl says she really likes the backside. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You'll like the front side too, you will. And we're done. It'll all be good. This one here, oops, I didn't want to do that. Okay, I'm not going to wash this out. Will the paint dry in it? I'm going to, I had to sneeze, sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not going to wash this out. I'm just going to uh, wipe it off on a dry paper towel. Okay. Damp, damp paper towel. Oh, let me get my bearings here. Damp paper towel. Or you can do it on a baby wipe, something like that. 
Melissa and Pat are here. Awesome. So let me get that off on the damp paper towel. And then and Shirley is here. I'm going to take my flat now, try to get the water out of it, pick up on, on like a side load, but it doesn't have to be too, too perfect of a side load. And I'm going to go down the opposite side of these openings. So you're getting lots of love. Love, love you guys too. I'm going down the left side or the bottom side of each opening. This one is the left side. I'm also going to go around the sand dollar to make it look like it has some depth. Try not to cover the black lines. If you do, again, not the end of the world. I also like how some sometimes this reactivates what's under it and it blends better and you don't have to work so hard. You can go underneath on the left arm, right arm, on the right arm and underneath the legs, up and down. So let's see, over here, we're going to go along the bottom edge. If you did what I did and you did four to one, you can always make the shade value be more like a one to one of slate gray and white. On the designs, these designs, I'm going to go around one side. And if you have my color photos from the from the pattern packet, you'll see where I put those colors, where I applied that color. And then with a the chisel, that narrow chisel edge of my brush, I'm going to go where my black lines are. So follow your black lines with that chisel. loaded with straight slate gray. You can even go around the outside. Cindy, Laurie asked, can we get the ladder from somewhere? Get the what? L-I-T-T-E-R. Laurie, is that what you meant to say? So do you have kits and pattern packets still available on your website? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so maybe that's what Laura wanted to know. Yep. And which it, medium are you using? Which what? What medium are you using? Um, it's the DecoArt fabric painting medium. Okay, thank you. Okay, Laura wanted to know about the pattern. So that's okay, Laura. It's on her website, and do you, you still? She still has kits available. And the link is in the events. It's still okay. if the event's still listed there, the link is in there. Okay, so we put the gray lines up the sides. I'm going to put the gray line over my black marks here too. Once these gray lines are on, now we can do some highlighting. And that's going to be done with a straight white. And I'm going to start with side loads of this. Yeah, I have a question, Cindy. Sure. Since you, is that going to show up as well because you it's a little bit darker Light. or a little bit lighter? Is it going to show up as well? We're going to find out, aren't we? Uh, <laughs> can't gonna, get much lighter than white. Right. So I'm going to do the white on the opposite side of each hole. Oh, that looks great. 
See how it pops it and settles it right down. Mm -hmm. right. And put that there. And then on this one, you want to kind of soften that out a little bit when you get into the shadow area. I'm going to go around the edge because we didn't do any this edge here so we can actually um, and I do what they call what a pity pat pit pat pit pat or pat pull pat pull I don't do a smooth side load does that work better on fabric then the pat pull yes yeah And also too, with some of the, the fabric medium or the moisture in my brush from the water, it blends it out. So I don't have to work out my side load on my palette. You know how we always have to make sure that our preparation of the brush is, you know, to, to what you want before you go to your surface. This here, I just, you see, I'm just picking it up and then I blend it out on my piece. So is fabric painting easier than painting on wood? Yeah. yeah. It seems like it's more forgiving. This would be really great for people who are just learning a side load. So, yeah, this is just, to me, was just so much easier. Okay. Bigger. Try not to go into your darks too much. And if you do, just take some moisture and soften that out. Piece of cake, almost like it's an extender. I'm going to add just a little bit down here, but I don't want a whole lot. So I'll work that out a little bit more. It's less is better. You can always go back and add more if you want, but less is better. So I'm going to put some. I'm sweeping, sweeping left and right as I go up to the middle of this one. Because I'm going to put some shading around here too. So I don't really want the light here or here. This is underneath behind the starfish. Nancy's here. Hey. Sharon Estes is here. Hi, Sharon. New, a new Nancy, different Nancy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I want to highlight around these. So with the shades here, the highlights over here. Shades up here, highlights down here. It doesn't need to go all the way up because it's dark under there. This doesn't get any highlights on either side. But now we're going to take that chisel. Remember the chisel we did with the slate gray? And we're going to chisel between the slate gray area. And you don't want to cover all of your mix. But if you do, again, it's not the end of the world. I wouldn't hold this up in front of someone's face real close and say, what do you think of my painting? <laughs> it's better observed from afar. <laughs> Now the white might disappear because it is white, it's nature, but um, you can go back and punch up colors after the rest of it gets on. You need to have the rest of it on to evaluate it to see where you need brighter highlights. It looks really good on the screen, Cindy. So I'm seeing I've got areas here that we are gonna take care of right now because I'm gonna go back. We have a question. Is this going to be available as a um, video after we're done? And I do believe the answer is yes, isn't it? It's being it's being recorded on Facebook as we speak. So you'll be able to watch it in CI until um, the end of the month. And then I will take it down. So what is that, two weeks? Mm -hmm. Or one, no, it's oh, like a week and a half. So you'll have it for a week and a half on this and then I'm going to take it down. Okay, so Luann, you have until the until September first. Yeah. To watch it. Yeah. I'm gonna use that brush, and with the white, 
worked into my bristles, wipe off any excess. And now these areas where I didn't put any highlight, I'm gonna start putting in some highlights. Start where you start, you did your side load and work your way down. Thank you for all the likes, everybody. We like likes and loves. Yes. And see how harsh that is? But if I wipe my brush off, I can go and soften it right out. That's what I love about it. It like blends right in. Sandra says she absolutely loves this. Oh, thanks. And how many, tell, tell Debbie how many of you are painting along with me or are you just watching? Not that that's a bad thing, but I'd like to know. And if you do paint it, definitely post your paintings. Okay. More importantly, paint them in other groups too, so everybody knows what we're doing in this group. Oh, yes. Ellen is painting, Pat Lip, Lipa is painting. Awesome. Susan is watching. So. Wendy's watching and loving it. Awesome, thank you. Gail is painting. Yay. She says she's trying to paint along. <laughs> yeah, Sh Cheryl likes to take Jody is painting. Sharon says she just watch, just watch, happened to catch you alive painting. Yay, well, we're glad you're here, Sharon. We've missed you. She has the same. Has Jeanette the same. is watching. Sharon has the same last name as my mom's family, just a different spelling, but we realized that through our ancestry that the, the, the last name was spelt many different ways to depict different families. So I, I swear we're related. <laughs> I just haven't found the connection yet. <laughs> Carol and Judy are watching and Laurie says she wishes she was painting a lot. Aww. But what, like we said, well, this is going to be up as a video, and maybe what we should be doing is doing our paint alongs first thing in the month, so that it can be up all month if we're going to leave them up, and everybody has a whole month to, to finish them. Yeah. And Ellen says she's going to be using. Oh, I love this. She's going to be using the bag for their bedrooms group. Oh, I love that. I love when we use our gifts for other people, and all of our talents. So you know how we, we thought maybe this uh, slate gray, straight slate gray was a little bit harsh because I had lightened my base a little too much. So I'm gonna go back with my dry brush of white and I can go wipe excess off. I can start and go right over it and it tones it right down. See how it starts to create that middle value so that it doesn't look so harsh anymore it kind of softens it right down so you don't have that harsh line. So if I just go in with this white and go over it, I, working on fabric, actually, I didn't think it would be as forgiving, but I find it to be very forgiving. I can do so much with it and it, it just allows me to correct any of my mistakes. My happy accidents. Okay, so over here, I'm gonna wash this out now I'm, um, because I don't want that to dry in there. So Bonnie Phillips is here and she says she absolutely loves painting on fabric. So she is glad that she just happened upon us. Oh, good. Donna is here. Hi, Donna. I'm going to take some of that slick, straight slate glit. Straight slate gray and go around the seashell. Luann has a great suggestion. She said this would make a great pillow too, and it would. Oh, definitely, yeah. So do it and make a and take a picture and show it to us because I bet you it's going to be gorgeous. 
Lana's loving it too. And she's saying what a great teacher you are, which you are. Thank you, Lana. She is too. Yes, she is. She has a webinar coming up soon too. Can't so wait. I haven't signed up for it yet. Don't wait. Seats are limited. Okay. That's all I'm going to do for the sand dollar. That's it. Now we're going on to the starfish. And the starfish, we're going to take the straight um, tropic bay, tropical bay. And I'm going to go on to my next picture. And in, in the pattern packet, if uh, most of you got it, but if you haven't, in the pattern packet, I have, like you can see here, I have the like a first stage and then a second stage and a third stage. So that's all in that pattern packet if you purchase it. I'm gonna take my, again, it's like a number 12 and I'm gonna go around the outside of it with this side load. It's not a perfect side load, remember. I'm gonna do narrow on the left, wider on the right on this one here. So when I go narrow, I hold it on a diagonal. Again, tappy, tappy, tappy. I do a pull, pat, pat, pull thing. I don't want a smooth line. This is not a smooth surface. This is a really bumpy, bumpy, bumpy starfish. I know they have smooth ones, but this is a bumpy one. So I've never seen a smooth one. You never saw a starfish? A smooth one. Oh, you haven't? They have some, but they're very, very thin. They're very thin arms and legs, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go narrow over here. So Peggy, Peggy Crowley says it's very pretty, Cindy. Thank you so much. Hearts to you. <laughs> Melissa well, says tappy, tappy, bumpy, bumpy. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. <laughs> Yes, we are not wiggling. We are tappy, tappy, bumpy, bumpy. I like to wiggle too. She knows that. <laughs> so I'm only doing one side at a time because I want to um, let the other side dry as I go. So I'll do the narrow sides on a diagonal. Tappy, 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 tappy. So I don't want to do it necessarily while it was still wet because then it will just keep blending and you have to build more paint to build that darkness. That's why I allow it to dry a little bit. But with the moisture in your brush and if you want to do some more fabric medium in the paint. You can always do that, but it blends on even on the dry part. I want to show you a little thing right here where the two legs meet. Imagine where your center of his body is and you're going to bring the paint up on one side, ending with the water or clean part of your brush in that center. And then you're gonna flip the brush over, bring the paint down and up on that opposite side with the water ending in the center. So you're making like a V. Get that over here. Blend that out a little bit. But see that V? So that's kind of where the legs come together, but it's curving that corner down in. A little bit more moisture in my brush. And I'm gonna come do this one. I always think that's just neat. It's, I don't know what kind of technique to call that. It's not a bullseye, it's not a tornado necessarily. Bring this color up a little bit. I'm putting it in the back. And since it's a little wider, we can go wider on this side. 
Happy, happy. And up towards that and back down. Towards that. Hope this is showing up. It's looking great. Awesome. Tappy, tappy, tappy. If I go too fast, if you need me to slow down, you don't have to end at eight o'clock. Is that four o'clock? One to five o'clock Pacific. We can keep going. Debbie, Debbie owns the the group. <laughs> She's the boss. This is the democracy. We'll all decide together. <laughs> okay, so now the three sides I didn't do, those are going to be wider. So again, I'm a little bit at a disadvantage because I don't want to rotate my piece around too much for you all, but. Tappy, 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 tappy. I love this color. This is such a pretty color. I have to do more with this color. So I'm not putting my brush as much on an angle because I definitely want it wider on this side. Until you get up here and then Janet's here. Hello. Which Janet? Janet McCauley. Oh, nice to see you again. Yeah, I know so many Janets. I know lots of Janets. Okay, let's go into this one. Bring it down, bring it back up. Kind of, a, I like to rotate my piece when I paint. Do you do that, Debbie? Rotate your piece when you paint. I like doing that. I'm not doing it here. It's okay. okay. And do the side. What you doing? Making lots of noise. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was dropping things. Ah. Barbara's here. This one should be narrow. So I'm going to try and bring that back in. If it gets too full, wash your brush out and then move that color back. I'm moving it that way back to the line so it's not so thick. And Mickey's here too. Yay. I love it. I love that I can share with you all and that you want. Now see how easy that was to clean that up. Did you miss you missed it, Debbie? I got some blue over top of the sand dollar it, where it didn't belong. So I went in with the water, cleaned it right off. Boom. Done. Wouldn't even know I made a bubble. Good job, Cindy. I know. I love it when I can fix it. Okay. Most people think teachers just automatically know how to fix things. 
and they don't realize it's because we make so many mistakes. I see <laughs> lots of love. Thank you for all the love. I hate making mistakes, but they do happen. While the starfish is drying, I'm going to go on the inside of this shell and I'm going to apply a coat of flesh cream, which I still have the old bottles. It's now warm beige. <laughs> but I still have a um, supply of flesh tone. So now I'm gonna go and put that in here. Try to stay in my black lines. So you can choose to not have the black lines paint right over them because this paint will cover them. You can see I covered them quite well with the gray. So this paint will cover the black lines. Then you don't, you have the option of covering them and not putting them back, covering them and putting them back or don't cover them to begin with. I just thought it kind of looked nice with an outline because I didn't do anything to the background. And we've talked about that, right? Last month was all about backgrounds, interesting backgrounds. And um, and I know Debbie likes to tell me you should have interesting backgrounds. And I'm like, I agree, but on this one, not so much. I think the, the natural part of the linen is enough interest. <laughs> I think that's what gives it um, the crisp, fresh feel. There's times where you just have a simple design with a simple background and other times where you have to add some interest. Um, yeah, I like I, if I was to do this on a canvas, oh heck yes, I would have to have some kind of a background to it because I, I, this wouldn't be enough for me. Okay. So now we're going to. I have to apologize to Melina. I keep spelling her name wrong. Oh. My goodness. Hi, Melina. So I haven't seen her in a long time. How are you? I hope you're doing well. And not, not deflated because Debbie can't spell. Well, Debbie's got fat fingers. And Pat Lucas says the beach is the background. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Okie dokie. I don't know that I put in the instructions, but I have um, this moon brush. It's a Sharp Series 222. And it's just like the dome round, but it's flat. It's, um, I don't know if you can see that, flat and like a flat brush but it has the same hairs. So I like doing that one. And I'm gonna pick up the white, white butt off on the paper towel. And then I'm gonna come down and create a highlight. Lori is just loving this. Oh. She's gonna get your pattern. It, oh, she isn't, she has not painting with us. Oh. She's watching, lots of watching and lots of painting. We have a blend of both. Awesome. So I'm going. Um, Melissa, thank you so much for spelling Melina's name correctly. I'm <laughs> glad somebody here can type. Left of center on this. Narrow at the top, wider at the bottom. It's looking wonderful, Cindy. Thanks. Narrow at the top, wider at the bottom. And I'm still doing circles, even though it's a flat brush. So Melinda says that the reason that she hasn't been around is she's been busy painting for a boutique. Awesome. Paint this tut for a boutique. This would be great to put in a boutique. Oh, yeah. Is this for Christmas? 
you talking to Melina? Is the boutique for Christmas? Yes. Oh, good. I like that. I'm liking that. I'm liking this. <laughs> well, you know, what can I say? I am still a human being and I still can amaze myself, which is great. <laughs> I'm liking how that no, it's looking wonderful. It's amazing how much dimension the highlight just, it's like pff, really super pops up. So are you kind of like pity patting that too, Cindy, a little bit? I am, I am a lot of pressure. I start off with light pressure, circular motion, and scrubbing. And repeat what type of brush you're using. This is a Ser Sharf Series 222 Moon. And it's a hog hair brush? Uh, it's white. I don't know what kind of hair. It's a white bristle brush? Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then when I get down here, I kind of just chisel, scratch, scratch that in. But it's, yeah, it's a white bristle brush. Melissa says you are amazing and you love what you do. She is amazing, Melissa. I agree. I do love what I do. She knows that. It's my best friend ever, ever. <laughs> That's because we lie to each other all the time, though. No. <laughs> <laughs> we don't lie. I'm not going all the way down. Don't forget you have shading down here you want to stay away from. So don't do it. Don't do it. I try not to leave any harsh edges. If the white isn't white enough, go back and add another application. Pretty much this is going to be it for this starfish. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Very cool. Wash that off. Now I'm going to go over to my seashell here and we're going to paint the rest of the seashell in here with light buttermilk. And if I'm wrong, tell me now. <laughs> before I paint it. I must use a lot of light buttermilk because this eight ounce bottle is just about empty. I can't believe I went through all of that paint. Okay. Let's go ahead and paint this, this guy in. So we've talked about this before, but how would you get the pattern packet if they wanted to paint this later? I believe it's still under the events. Okay. But, you but it's at cindyharrison.com. Cindyharrisonart.com. Okay. Connie says, nice to mention. I agree. It looks great. I like how easy it is to create it. I'm going to say, if you are all enjoying this class and you can see how well you can see everything that Cindy's doing, this is just like the Artful Webinars classes. And um, you should join us sometime if you haven't signed up for one. Juanus is the next class. And it's just such a great way to learn. You learn just like you're learning now from Cindy, only it's a five hour class and it's an amazing project. So you'll have to go to artfulwebinars.com and check out all the projects that are up that are coming up. And you get a full pattern packet with, with registration and um, you get to be in here with like Debbie's in with me right now in this classroom with me. You get to be in the classroom with us. So you can talk to me like Debbie's talking to me. You can ask me questions and you can show me your project and I can say, you know, I can critique it right there and then. 
you know, no, you need more shading. No, you need, you know, more highlight or it looks awesome. Don't touch it, move on, you know? And that's what's nice about it is you get that immediate critique, attention. Everybody has a front row seat because you can see what I'm doing. Everybody sees what I'm doing. Yeah, when we're live on Facebook, we can't give you critiques, but you can get critiques and the teachers can see what you're doing when you're in our the webinars classes. It's wonderful. And then you get to know everybody from all over. Ellen says she loves the art for webinars. Me too. Oh yeah. See, Melina was used to come to paint with heart. So she knows how, how wonderful that is to be in a classroom. You're getting love. Yay. Love that. I can't love right now. I got to paint. How's everyone doing on their painting? Are you keeping up? Are you finding any, you're having any difficulties? Is, you know, is your blending going as easily as mine is? Are you liking what you're doing? Yeah, in the, in the kit, I also included the interfacing and the marker for anyone who bought the kit, the freezer wrap, uh, paper line drawing to the actual size, and a tote bag. Actually, I think I put the, I ended up putting the whole pattern packet. I just printed off the whole pattern packet and put it in there. Okay, Cindy, you need more paint. And the light buttermilk's not that far different from the linen background, but enough to give it a more smooth coat. Cindy? Yeah. I have to ask you, everyone's asking about the pattern packet. When they go to cindyharrison.com. No, no, no. So to cindyharrisonart.com. Yeah. Is it under pattern packets? Marketplace. Okay. Pattern packets. All, all packets at the top of the list. All patterns. I know there's a shortcut. I just don't know what it is right off the top of my head. And unfortunately, um, I cannot leave where I'm at right now to go get the link, but we will put a direct link after we're, Cindy's done teaching. Um, we'll put it up here. Yeah. So anybody who doesn't have the pattern packet or the kit and wants one, they can um, go to Cindy's website and get it. Yeah, the information is in the description or in one of the comments on the event. Mm -hmm. And then also this video is going to be up through August 30th. August 31st? No? How many days in August? Now I have to go check. I don't know. However many days are September 1st. By September 1st. How's that? It is the 31st. Uh-huh. I was trying to remember that song. You remember that poem or song, 30 Days Has September? Uh-huh. Is it April, May, and November? I don't know. All the rest have 31, except for February. Right, so August has 31. Yes, everyone is telling us 31. <laughs> and, then, and then that knuckle, January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. So all the top knuckles have 31 and all the indents between the knuckles have 30 except for February, of course. Isn't that weird what we learned when we were kids? But it helped, didn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know if they teach them anything like Cindy, that. Cindy, we have a question. Can Moyan Ward wants to know if this can be taught at a chapter? We have senior members that don't have internet access. Ah. 
Yes. And Ellen says, uh, I believe she's saying um, 31 days, my 51st wedding anniversary. I'm thinking it's the 31st. Sweet. Okay. I'm um, getting back to the chapter thing though, Debbie, that I think yes. I would um, I would like to have you buy or purchase a pattern packet for each person from me. And if you email me directly, I will give you a discount on the number. Well, the pattern pack is only five bucks. After the September 1st, I'm raising the price. It's $5 because you're a member of CI. But if you want to buy a purchase a pattern packet for each person, I will sell it to you at the $5 price. But that that's what I would um, would ask you to do. Mm -hmm. So I can keep bringing you this, what do they call it on the PBS stations? <laughs> Valuable entertainment. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> quality, quality programming. That's what it's called. Quality programming. I'd really appreciate it. And if, and if you want to work out that you want me to supply the kit and the kit would have in addition to the tote bag, the freezer wrap, the interfacing, the marker, it also has three cuppies. One has the tropical blue, one will have the dried clay, and the other cuppy pot, paint pot will have the galaxy glitter in it. I love the galaxy glitter. So that's what's all in the kit. So if you want to purchase a kit for each of them, that would be awesome too. If you purchase the kit, I will throw in the pattern packet in with the kit. You don't have to pay extra for the pattern packet. Okay. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back to our inside. That's where we're going to take the dried clay. And you really don't need a whole lot of any of these colors, as you can tell from my palette. And I'm going to pick up that side load and start to put it against the inside. And the more you tap and pull, tap and pull, the more it blends out. So you don't have to work so hard on the palette. Just go and pick the color up, place it in. Okay. Yep, I'm going to go all the way up. Melissa loves that you're including the paints because she doesn't have those exact colors. The Tropical Bay, I believe, is a new, is not it a, is a new color? Yeah, 2019 color. And so. Yeah, and again, I use so very little of it, really. I put out Lori says, woohoo, I got it. All right, Lori. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> now catch up. <laughs> we'll wait. Come on, catch up. We won't wait. <laughs> no worries. Okay. I have to make dinner. Yes, this is true. This is, um, this height part of the inside, I'm going to just pick up on the corner of my brush some light buttermilk and I'm going to start on a chisel, go flat and end on a chisel. I know, sounds crazy. Watch me. Chisel, flat, pat pull, pat pull, and then twist the clean part of my brush down to end on a chisel. If you doesn't come out very start on the chisel here and come flat across making it wider in the middle I don't know why I did it but it looked good and I left it there it looks like a shine it's pretty yeah and I left it there that's that for the inside you can make the dried clay wider if you want but right now I'm I think it's fine I'm happy with it I'm going to go on to this one. This is a fun part and we're almost done. Um, this part here, I was trying to figure how the heck do I do this? Well, 
is what I decided. I'm going to start with cocoa. I could have done all one color, but I didn't. I'm going to start with cocoa and I'm going to take my brush. If you want to take a chalk pencil and draw lines, go right ahead. But I'm just going to take my brush and start. Um, this line comes down. Pick it up where that comes down. And then this is paint side up, clean side down and follow that curve. Follow that curve and end right there. Now you can take it and do, you're gonna follow the curvature on the top part. Follow the curve down, follow that curve down. Don't look at a real shell because you're going to say, Cindy, you're cracked, but it's close enough. Don't put any on the little piton at the end. Okay. We're going to do this two more times with this color. This time we're going to start from up here at the very tip. And you're going to bring it down and you're going to get wider distance from the first one when you get over here. It's not smooth because I am on fabric. It's okay. And you're going to put one there. One here. A little moisture, you can either use water or fabric medium to reconstitute your brush. Okay. I'm going to do the next one, same color, same color, starting against this outer side, getting wider as you come away and just do the first three don't do the last two now i'm going to go change and go darker pick up raw sienna and don't put out as much paint we don't need all that paint. Melissa says, Roxy says, hi. Roxy. She, says, she also says, that's going to look amazing. <laughs> we love Roxy. Who is Roxy? The dog. Okay, so now, one, two, three, one, two, three. So three, now we're going to go down, start against this edge under here, being a darker color. Start with light pressure so you know how much paint's on your brush. These are always closer together and they should get further apart when they go over there. Oops, wrong color. Yay. So piece of cake, easy peasy. Um, I think when they get closer to the edge, they should get a little straighter, but now this is where I'm going to do, we only have two on this one. This is where I'm, I'm going to now put the raw sienna one. Is your tote real smooth? My tote? Mm -hmm. no. no, very fi fibrous. Alina wanted to know. Yeah, very fibrous. So that's why I say nobody's going to look at this close up if they do. No, no, no. 
I'm starting on the chisel when I'm at that ink spot. I'm not going over onto the non prepped primed canvas part. Janet just joined us. Hello. On the camera, it's not a real obvious color change. I'm assuming to the naked eye, you can really tell the difference. The, the raw, yeah, the raw sienna has a little bit more red in it. This okay. is actually dull and then it gets brighter. Okay. So it's not necessarily, uh, can you tell here the difference? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and then this one is just going to be, and I'm not doing a heavy, heavy side load here either. So. Janet Welsh just joined us. Hi, Janet. When you get down to these little areas, you might have to do a little tipping and I don't like tipping, but you got to do a little tipping here. Cindy, we have a question from Melissa. Are you using a fabric medium or did you treat the tote? I treated the tote elements with a fabric medium first and then I'm painting on top of it. So as you're painting right now and you're side loading, you're using water as opposed to medium? Correct. You can use medium if you so want to. I happen to be using the water is fine because the medium has already sealed it like like a sealer to wood, the medium is a sealer to the fabric. Okay, while that's drying, before I continue on with the highlights and more shading, let's go and finish our dude up here. And he is finished with dots, lots of dots. So you can use the end, wooden end of your brush if you want, or you can use a, um, stylus but basically yeah we're just gonna take the turquoise tropical turquoise no what am i saying tropical blue tropical blue and in your dark areas start to place some of those you can go up the, the other side but mostly put it in the wide side where you had the widest side load. We know how these travel, so be aware when we go to finish our seashell that you're going to have some wet dots on your piece. So I'm going to I'm doing this just to allow that time to dry. And I know we are over, but we will be done shortly. Hard to do stuff in one hour. I don't know how. Are they gonna, are, they, are you gonna have them do um, base coating of your, of your Bitsy? Oh, the project that I'm teaching live. Yes, I'll have a pattern packet and then They'll have to prep and do base cutting ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Okay, that'll make it go by. But it's not up on my website yet. Right, that'll go by faster if they haven't had them do this base coating. I will have it up by the end of the week. Cool. And then everyone can join in with the fun on that one. And I will go a little bit on the sides here. Okay, now when you have all those darks done, wipe off your handle and put white dots in the highlight area. So I'm gonna start here, dot, 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 dot. Real technical terms, you know? It's looking great, Cindy. 
So you can do. Aren't you all loving this? Thank you, Miss Debbie. I want to go buy a tote bag and paint this now. <laughs> or a pillow. Or a pillow. I like tote bags. Okay, so see how that pops the foot. So you can do that. I love that you're using regular acrylics on fabric. Yeah. Because not everybody has all of this, those soft colors. So this is great. How many, I mean, I have a tower of bottles of acrylics and I know like you try to be a minimalist and use what you have and mix the colors. And, and that also helps to harmonize your painting. I always was a bottle baby. I liked having all the bottles. Don't make me mix color, God forbid. But I am, I am reaching beyond that now. <laughs> I am ex doing the mixing and not complaining about it. And I, I do like how it harmonizes in the painting much better. So why not use what we have, right? Right, ladies, you already own it. Use them before they dry out on you. Become one big piece of plastic. Lots of love and lots of likes for you. Awesome. Now that that's there, don't put your hand in it. Let's go back to this and finish this, this baby up here. I am going to go to my bigger, like a, a three quarter inch size brush here. And I want to shade the bottom. And I'm first going to shade it with the um, raw sienna. And I am working this out a little bit more. I want it at least halfway across my brush. And I'm only going to start from the raw sienna line and on the chisel. Bring it down and then get wider as you get closer to the base. So it's really important for those lines to be dry, isn't it, Cindy? Yes, because otherwise you're just going to wash them away, blend them out. So and that looks great. We're doing raw sienna over raw sienna, so part of it will be a little blended out. But as you can see, you still see them. I'm going to Melissa go. says that looks amazing. Thank you. I'm going to go this way, walk that up a little bit, walk this up a little bit. Try not to keep any of the light buttermilk showing underneath. And then on this little guy, I'm tipping it so that I don't get any paint on my raw linen. Let's put a highlight on that because we want the darks to dry before we put our next layer. I'm going to put the highlights on the top area and that I'm going to start with. Now, this is going to be interesting because you want your dry brush to be dry. And in here, I'm going to go with white wipe the excess off. You can start on a chisel or you can start on the flat on the big one because it is, it is bigger. So scrubbing, don't go too far down, two thirds, two thirds of the way in the center. Two thirds of the way, start off with light pressure, work your way up. Gail yeah, says the sand dollar looks 3D and it does. What was that? She says that the sand dollar looks 3D. It oh, does. thanks. Yeah, I tried it with as little effort as possible. On the big guy here, if you use this um, flat brush instead of the dome round, make a big circle. I'm looking at it to be in the widest area, the upper third area. Start with a small circle and then make it big. 
Did that show up right? Yeah, now? you can see it. Mm -hmm. So when it dries, if it doesn't show enough, will you just reinforce it a second time? Yep. Yep, because it tends to, I washed it out, so I can't use that brush again for a little while until it dries out. But in the meantime, let's go and see if, I'm gonna take my number 10 and some of that white on the corner of my brush, and I'm going to follow it from the top of the cocoa the first cocoa and bring it up. You're getting likes and love, Cindy. Thank you. I love likes and loves. And I'm gonna add a little bit on my corner of my brush down here. It's just looking great. So I didn't put any over here because I'm going to go back and I think I'm going to add some um, raw sienna up here. Bring that little darkness up. There we go. Now I'm going to take out my burnt umber. And I know this is blending in, so we're going to go back and punch up the whites with more white but I need to let them set, set right now. I can't do it right this moment. I'm gonna go in with the narrow brush and the burnt umber and add a narrower side load of burnt umber on the bottom of all of these. That is really making it wrong. Lots of loves and likes, Cindy. <laughs> it's looking wonderful. Thanks. Well, go ahead and paint along with me and show us what you did. For those of you who've come in late, I know that you're thinking you're missing a whole bunch of this, but we're going to leave this in the group until the end of the month. And so you'll have uh, a couple weeks to uh, paint along with Cindy, even though she won't be live at that point. But if you need me, tag me and I will come and answer your questions or help you out. Okay. I'm making that narrower. I don't want it as wide as the, as the um, raw sienna. I am going to take some of that raw sienna, however, and I want to put it at the top of the sections on the side. So add it up here, not as wide, but you want to create that roll. I mean, I say I want to create that roll. So that's going to push this section forward, those sections back. The other one I want to do, I'll use burnt umber. And I'm going to put it on, if this is the black line here, I'm putting the paint to the right of that line. So you can start up here at the top lightly and just shade right down the right side of each line. And lastly, I'm gonna use my dome round because that should be dry by now after we used it on the sand dollar. Take some more white, dry paper towel. Always remember dry paper towel and add a higher shine. And if you want to um, just do the top one third this time, 
Don't go all the way down like you did before. Do the top one third. And I'm even going to put a little bit over my buttermilk. The light buttermilk I put there. That's it. We are done. Oh, no, we're not. <laughs> I forgot the galaxy glitter. The sparkles. Yeah. I've been waiting for that. We love bling. So I the ice, the clear ice comet. So if your dots are dry, you can take out the, your little paint pot of that. And I just, I put it just on the starfish. And for those of you who are not painting, if you want to see what I'm going to be painting live next month, stay tuned until after Cindy's painting and we're going to reveal it to everyone. Yes, please, because you're not going to want to miss this. You're going to want to sign up and get your line drawing and pat the whole pattern packet in it so you can get it prepped for class. Melissa says sparkle. Cheryl says love bling. I have to agree. Anything shining, I love. I, I do too. I love how this shiny object syndrome, that's what I got. And I love how, how fast the acrylic uh, paint dries on the fabric, actually. I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't. It's weird. Now, this is taking an over uh, an hour to paint because somebody's teaching it. But if you're just painting it on your own, this will go really fast. Oh, yeah. You can, you can uh, knock these babies out real quick. I love the sparkle. I love this galaxy glitter. It has such, a, it's such a rich glitter tone to it. I need more. I need more. Lana says, bling it up. Yeah, I know. More, please. More, please. And you're getting lots of love. So now all you have to do is decide if you want to outline it again with the black marker or you're ready to leave it plain like it is. And I, I think that's fine. Sign your name to it if you want. But what do you think? I think it looks great. Awesome. So let's go back to both of us. <laughs> so, Miss Debbie, I'm going to give you the floor and you're going to share with us what beautiful things, oops, I should do, I should do this, share with beautiful things what you're going to paint for us next month. All right. Well, I can only see you, so I don't know if everybody else can see this. So, this little girl right here is Miss Spitzy, and I'm thinking I need to add some sparkles to her, but... I want to make sure we get done in about an hour's time, but I don't know if you can see how adorable she is. Yeah, that's one awesome. side of the banner and the rock one, and I have all kinds of tools. So we're going to be using a stamp. I have daubers. I have the mushroom sponges. I have my dental pens. This is all going to be in the kit. So we'll be using that on this. And then the watch party is going to be this a little bit more elegant fall design and we'll be using the same kit for that. And then I actually have a third mixed media project where the kit can be used for two. So I'll have three different designs um, where the mushroom stamps and uh, mushroom sponges, and for those of you who don't know what a mushroom sponge is, the kit will um, have this in it. Uh, just tons of stuff in the kit. Unique, um, unique, uh, hang on a second, I want to show you guys one tool that's really cool if it's here. So you can tell how prepared I was to talk about this. <laughs> you'll have like three weeks or four, you have four weeks yeah. actually to get the kit. So don't, don't wait till the last second. Oh, I'm going to have this dauber and this dauber, and I'm going to show you how to dry brush with this. Ooh. These are so awesome, and we're also going to be using these to stencil with. 
if you if you guys have a hard time stenciling, it's um, these really make it easy. And then I have another tool that I'll be adding to the kit. And hang on just a second. I got it on here. <laughs> so it's her. Um... So this book is really cool. And I'm going to show you how to use this too. And that one I'm going to be using um, in the watch party. But all of this will be included in the kit once I get it up on the uh, website. And then I have a stamp set too that will be included. Right. And the paint along is going to be on the 27th, uh, sorry, the 17th of September. Mm -hmm. And the watch party will be on the 19th of September. So you'll have a chance to uh, get both of these in one week. You've got four or five weeks to purchase the kit, right? So there are plenty of time to purchase it and get it ready for class. Yay! Once I get it up on my website, it should be up by Friday. I'm working on it, but I was just gone. I was in Colorado this week. So um, that's okay. You know, when you're away playing, you can't get things done. Yeah, I know, but that's okay because it, it'll get done. And All right. so don't, don't hesitate to um, please paint what we, you know, along with us with these paint alongs. If you're enjoying them, comment and tell your friends about it and uh, encourage them to join us. Cause Debbie's, I mean, Debbie's like double bonus here. You know, she doesn't just do anything easy and, and, and one, she does. She's gonna be easy. <laughs> Yeah, but it's like I told her, just do one paint along. Well, I'm going to do a watch party. I'm going to do this. I have all these ideas. I'm like, oh, we love you, Debbie, for it. We love you for it. And uh, and keep it coming as long as you can. And we will enjoy every bit of watching you paint and inspire us to be a better painter ourselves. So thank you so much for this opportunity. Thank you for being here with me today and helping me out. Until next time. Well, and always remember to invite your friends. Let your friends know what we're doing on this group and invite them. Let them know that we're doing these live classes and that they're free. So, but until next time, may painting always bring you joy. And, and remember to always paint with heart. Thank you, everyone, for a wonderful Bye, guys. Week. We'll look forward to seeing your pictures, uh, your painted pieces when you uh, get them done and posted. So good night. Bye. Bye.